okay so in this video I'll show you uh, like how do I retry a message in Kafka so first uh, we uh, understand why we need a retry so let's say you have a couple of messages in your Kafka topic and some messages has the dependency with the other data and that the dependent data is not yet available so for that purpose what you need you need a retry after some time so uh, that use case uh, is just an example and the use case may vary uh, project to project and uh, so th we'll see like how we can retry this uh, particular Kafka message and also this uh, entire operation is non-blocking like if some message is going to be retry then it won't block the further messages okay so let's jump into the code so what what we need we need a Kafka setup uh, on our local machine and for that uh, to setting up the Kafka on your local you can uh, just use this docker compose file which has the zookeeper and broker image along with the port information yeah so this is the docker compose file and to run this docker compose file we can use simply docker compose up minus t so that it will run in a detached mode yeah it is creating zookeeper creating broker so we can verify docker ps yeah we can we can see it has created this uh, two containers one is broker and one is jukeeper fine okay so uh, i already created one uh, maven project with uh, this uh, basic spring boot starter and spring kafka library and uh, i have created one component class which is kafka kafka listener and annotated with kafka listener uh, annotation and provided the topic name group id and container factory information and uh, i have created this method like i'm going to consume the messages from this topic and uh, the message format will be string and this is the additional information we can have in our consume message like from which topic I'm going to consume so yeah it is mentioned here but yeah I just added it for additional information and where is uh, my consumer factory so it is available here and this my consumer factory is nothing but uh, it will connect to our Kafka broker so this is uh, the configuration class and this this will simply connect to our uh, broker which is running inside the docker container so here is the broker information 9092 and yeah and uh, we have a string deserializer and uh, for key and value both so that's it fine so here first what i'm doing let me first quickly show you masses from topic Okay, let me run this application. Okay. So now let's push some messages here uh, in the. So what I have. So I have some commands so first we can create a topic with this command so 
okay fine so this is already exist we can directly put messages okay so this is uh, okay now let me put hi there okay fine hi there from quick start topic so we are good second second from quick start so this is running cool so now we can close this and we can stop this now what i'm doing i'm going to add a retry mechanism here like retry retrieval topic and what i'm going to do i'm going to provide attempts like i'm going to provide three attempts for each uh, message which i'm which which has some exception or some kind of uh, retrieval logic and also i'll provide a back off technique so back off like intervals uh, like uh, after how much uh, or how, how much uh, uh, like after how many seconds or how many uh, minutes it is going to retry so let's see the things so delay so delay let me give 5000 or 2000 and uh, the multiplier 3.0 let's say so what it will do after first retry will be after two seconds and then it will keep on multiply and after six second or then after 18 second like that it will just uh, add a delay now let me add some exception part like int x equals to sorry pass and message fine so for any non integer string it will throw a uh, exception and it will retry increase the time little bit so that we can see the delay fine okay let me run this now Now let's push a message here. Okay. So I have added 12. So 12 is okay. 12 from quick start. So it will come here and easily it will be passed. Now if I push hello, then we will have some exception. See? So now will retry again yeah so it, it it is retrying hello from quick start and meanwhile if I put 34 so it will read 34 and it is so you you can see it is non blocking and also if I say 56 we can read 56 and then again so in this way uh, you can apply uh, uh, your uh, retry logic and also uh, like what happened uh, to your messages which are uh, which which are not processed correctly so what we can do we can just keep it or we can post it to some uh, some to another topic let me show you how you can achieve this so let's say you want to aggregate all the messages uh, those are not processed correctly so 
uh, we can call it dead dead letter so we can have this dead letter handler public void string message and we can also use this information So let's say uh, while processing this message uh, having some information and after retry uh, it is not resolved so that message we can get here and uh, if required we can push to some uh, topic yeah let me show you let me run this program am i missing something no dead message okay fine let me run this again okay clear the logs okay this is a command to push the messages so I'm putting 65 fine 65 has no issue 55 red and then hello so this hello and 44 so this hello uh, is going to retry yeah hello from quick start Yeah, you see uh, the error not resolved and that's why it sent this message to the uh, this uh, dead letter uh, dead letter topic handler at the TLT handler and now here we can further aggregate all the dead messages and we can uh, analyze 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 further and uh, yeah I think that's it is still listening the proper messages so we saw this like uh, why we need a retry and how to retry and non-blocking operation and also how to handle this dead messages so thank you